Hi, welcome to Nursi Mandra English Question Practice. We will discuss one question from Neurological System. Acute Hemorrhagic Stroke Related Question. A hospitalized client develops acute hemorrhagic stroke and is transferred to ICU, Intensive Care Unit. Which nursing interventions should be included in the plan of care? Select all that apply. So here the client develops hemorrhagic stroke and uh, is the is in ICU. Which all are the nursing intervention we have to provide? Options: one, administer PR and stool softeners daily. Administer scheduled enoxaparin injection. Implement seizure precautions. 4. Keep client NPO until swallow screen is performed. 5. Perform frequent neurological assessments. So, in the question asking for multiple response options, okay. So, here we can select the answer as option A, administer PR and stool softeners daily. Option C, implement seizure precautions. Option D, keep client NPO until swallow screen is performed. Option E, perform frequent neurological assessments. Why we have selected these options as correct? These are the intervention has to do by the nurse. A hemorrhagic stroke occurs when a blood vessel ruptures in the brain and causes bleeding into the brain tissue or subarachnoid space. Seizure activity may occur due to increased ICP, intracranial pressure. During the acute phase, a client may develop dysphagia. To prevent the aspiration, client must remain NPO, that is option 4, until a swallow function screen reveals no deficit. The nurse should perform neurological assessment in the option 5, that is level of consciousness, pupillary response at regular intervals and report any acute changes is there or not. Preventing the activities that increase the ICP or blood pressure will minimize the further bleeding. For preventing the um, activities to which is increasing the ICP, we have to reduce the stimulation, maintaining quiet and uh, um, like a calm environment, limit visitors. We have to administer stool softeners to reduce the strain during the bubble movement. Okay, so if we are if the client is putting strain, it will increase the ICP. So we have to administer the stool softeners that is given in the option one. That's why we have selected that option also. Then other activities like uh, reduce exertion, maintain strict bed rest, assist with the uh, activities of daily living, maintain head in midline position to improve a uh, jugular venous return to the heart. B didn't select option 2 because inoxaparin is an anticoagulant. Anticoagulant that is used to prevent the uh, VTE that is venous thromboembolism. Anticoagulants are contraindicated in clients with hemorrhagic stroke. The nurse should question any prescription that increase the risk for bleeding. A client with a hemorrhagic stroke should instead receive non-pharmacological interventions like a compression stocking to prevent the VTE, venous thrombus embolism. So, as a conclusion, hemorrhagic stroke that occurs when a blood vessel ruptures inside the brain and that cause bleeding in the brain. The nurse should perform frequent neurological assessment, keep the client NPO, maintain seizure precautions and strict bed rest, then uh, limit any activity that increase the bleeding, that is anticoagulant administrations and all, or intracranial pressure elevation and all, like a stimulation, straining during bowel movements and all. 
I hope you understood clearly related to hemorrhagic stroke interventions by the nurse. Introducing the all new Nursing Mandra Englux series which contains question bank which is including the new generation English question. Rationale followed by each question helps you to understand the question. The explanatory video collections with the help of illustrations and animation. Exam handbook, mock test and cheat sheets. Select your package now and get started. For more information about the subscription plans, you can contact Nursing Mandra WhatsApp.